Okay, let's move on to check out some tools and tips regarding of editing a pickup button. So say I think all these yellow buttons are just uh, too saturated. Okay, uh, it's too distracting. Uh, say I want to desaturate them, make it make the color more soft. So I just maybe uh, select the select button and select items of the same type. This way I select all the select buttons. I just deselect these two. And to address these colors, I just use Control U hotkey. This will bring up the address button color dialog. And the same feature can be accessed through this edit um, address button color. Okay, so this is a pretty much uh, like a, a hue and saturation dialog in Photoshop. You can now tweak its uh, hues and tweak its saturations. Okay, so this this is a pretty handy tool. Um, you can use to to desaturate these buttons, so make them more uh, soft colored. Okay, so say I'm happy with this items and maybe bring down the dog this and say okay, then this um, button color will be more uh, refined. This is a, a, a tips on how to uh, edit all these colors. You can grab all the type of these buttons and edit their color. But the color is just the fill color. Only uh, edit the fill color for now. I have mentioned the sub name space before and say the hand rig here actually reference uh, external files um, regarding of the uh, hand rigs. So uh, Beside this Mary namespace, it also has a say Henry sub namespace. So uh, I've already created all these buttons. So how to create the uh, add their sub namespace? The one thing is just uh, uh, typing the sub namespace here, and another way is you can just sub namespace or edit items sub namespace. So you can. Um, here in this dialog, you can uh, set up the sub namespace for all the selected items, all the for all the uh, items you have already created. Okay, this is a sub sub namespace dialog, but basically just you can just input the sub namespace here. Uh, let's talk about the moving of the picker item. So uh, you can use the edit tool to move the picker buttons. Normally, just grab it and move it uh, using the shift. Hockey, you can move it horizontally or vertically, right? Um, another way to move a pickup button is to use the arrow hotkeys. So in your keyboard, you just use the arrow hockey to move these uh, pickup buttons uh, for one pixel each time. And using the shift and the arrow hockey, you can move it um, much faster. And if you use R key to uh, cooperate with the arrow key, you can move the item as well as its mirrored item. Okay, so uh, in MGPK Studio, R key is pretty much connect with the uh, mirrored features. Okay, um, if the um, button is going outside this uh, panel boundary, say I use the arrow key to force it to go outside this picker panel contain area so it's not available to be selected so uh, if you want to move back these um, buttons that go out of the uh, boundary just go to the picker menu and move back out ranged items okay so this way you will move back the uh, select button here and you can now just grab it and move it again right this is the moving skills To copy and paste some attributes and shapes and data uh, among all these picker buttons, you can use this uh, eyedropper icon, which is the copy paste property tool, which has a hotkey I. So to use the uh, copy paste property tool, you can first just right clicking the target picker button and say I want to copy the colors from here so I just grab this copy color and stroke and paste it to other select buttons. Um, to paste the attribute on other select button you just left mouse button to click that. And 
uh, you, you can grab these uh, pickle buttons and apply them in one click. Okay. And there's a lot of features involved in this copy. You can copy all the color, copy fill color only, and some other colors specific. Um, copy stroke and copy stroke and color and copy size. Copy all these things. And copy data. You can copy the select button post action data and select button object list. Some other like that. So there's a lot of other features. Just uh, try them, and uh, it's pretty handy. Now let's check out how to transform these picker buttons. So um, to transform this picker button, you just use the hockey T. This will enter the uh, activate the transform tool, which has hockey T or R. So uh, T is stand for the global transform mode. In this mode, you can use these handles to scale these uh, picker buttons and move them. If you are not happy with this transformation, you just use the escape key to cancel this transformation. So use hockey T to re enter this transform mode. Um, if you uh, grab this handle and move it, it will just uh, transform based on the object point. Say I use this handle and I move it, it will transform via the this point, right? Um, but if I use the alt hockey, and it will scale based on this center point, right? Yeah, it's pretty handy. Uh, if you want to confirm that transformation, you just press the Enter key, or you can just double click other area to confirm that. If you use the R hotkey, it will enter the local scale mode. So with this mode, just like what you did in Maya, uh, using the scale tool, it will scale the button you have selected um, based on their own each pivot. Okay. Um, if you uh, enter the global um, transform mode, then use escape key, it will enter the uh, local scale mode for you because you are still in the transform tools right now. And to transform the Bezier and polygon shape, I've mentioned that before, uh, you can also use this transform tool, but right click on it and transform polygon and Bezier shape. This way you can uh, rotate and flip the Bezier shape or the polygon shape. So you don't need to actually redraw them, right? Um, another thing I want to mention is, um, here I got the, say I transform this, uh, finger buttons and I am pretty happy with this size and positions. So I want to confirm this transformation, but I also want to apply the, this transformation to the um, mirror buttons. So you can just out and enter to confirm that. So uh, the transformation is, uh, is confirmed and the same uh, transformation applied to its mirrored picker buttons. So I just undo it. Say uh, if I move this, but forgot using the alt hotkey. So how to um, apply this new position to the mirrored uh, side? You can just using alt key to move it a little bit. So another way to do that is using the shift and M. Using the shift and M hotkey, you are actually invoking the uh, the apply minimum info to mirrored features here. And say for this button, I decide to use the polygon shapes. So I activate the polygon shape tool using the hotkey P and click on it. It will ask me if you want to convert the shape into polygon and I just edit it. Okay, I'm happy with this shape, but how to apply these shapes to the mirrored button here. Uh, also, you can use the Shift and M hotkey to do that. This is pretty handy. And if you check out the toolbar here, there's a lot of buttons uh, for aligning or distribute the picker buttons. So I just enlarge this UI and to show more these buttons. Uh, also, you can just grab this toolbar to this vertical area. Uh, so for now, if say I want to align all these uh, buttons vertically, you can just use this 
And remember that uh, all these alignment and the uh, distribute feature are repeatable. So we can just use the G hotkey to repeat this alignment, right? So it's pretty handy. Also, there's other features that uh, regarding of unfolding this overlapping pick buttons. So, say if this button is uh, overlapping with this pick button, and you can just grab this and go to the edit and unfold overlapping items. So, I tear this menu off. So, you can just simply unfold items vertically here and just unfold them. Um, sometimes it doesn't do a good job since I want to place this button below the, the button, but uh, you can quickly use this feature to unfold these uh, buttons. Uh, if, say, um, this button covered this, uh, this select button, but I want uh, that the loop button will cover this button, so how to do that? You just use the control and the arrow key to bring it up to the top. Uh, another way it's just um, I say I Z back and if I want to stack this uh, slap button under this slap button so I just grab this slap button and control down arrow key to um, bring it to the bottom so this is the stack order and let's talk about some features regarding of the image processing say you already assigned the background image here and you want to edit the image you just go to the edit snapshot and you can apply some uh, make it more contrast and make it more saturated and maybe blur it out uh, you can also uh, edit the tiles so you can grab two tiles here um, vertical two tiles so sometimes it's pretty useful if you have two uh, body control systems. So uh, you can invert it, you can put it totally grayscale. And if you reset the image it edit, all the image edit will be blow away. Uh, you can just re tweak these parameters. If you happy with this uh, effect, you just apply the image edit. Uh, this edit is not undoable since uh, the edit will apply to the image file itself and you have no way to undo that. But not only the background image of this panel can be added further. Um, anim, say I want to add, add this uh, one sign here. So this is the image shape and it carry the image. So if you want to edit this image, you can just go to this triangle menu and edit the image, right? So you can just uh, say uh, change the saturations or just bring up the uh, contrast okay you can still uh, edit this image or icons even it's just uh, image shape image also we can uh, resize the images say uh, here I want to resize this image I can you can go to the resize slash shot. So this way you can input a new size of the image and resize it. But there's low magic happen here. If you scale the small image to the large image, it will be blurred out and the quality will, will go down. Also, you can scale image even its uh, button here. You can go to the scale image. The same dialog will pop up. Let's check out how to edit the label of the pickup button. So basically, you just double click it and change the label. Right? Uh, it's pretty simple. And if you want to clear the label, uh, you just use the backspace hotkey to clear that label. And you can also direct a label automatically. Uh, you just go to the label area here and use this. Uh, button to generate uh, the label. It will for select button. It will just label it with the first note in its member list, right? Um, and you can use the uh, Control L hotkey to do that to auto label them. It's the same feature if you uh, press this button. To edit the slider uh, label, you can just double click and input a label. But if it's a select button without any 
frame, background frames. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to uh, double click uh, since double click on this slider handle will just select the slider itself. And you, if you just single click this area, it won't select the slider for you. So this way you can hold all key and double click this slider handle. And it's, it also activate this input field so you can just um, input a correct label here. In MG Pickle Studio, uh, any type of pickle button can be copied and pasted. Uh, even it's a panel, so I can grab and copy this, Control C copy this body panel and co paste it here. Right? The whole panel being copied. And just one thing I want to mention that is if you grab this pickle panel and select say uh, this pickle button and Control C, it will give you a warning say that uh, because you have already selected a pickle panel and other pickle items so only the pickle panel can will be copied to the clipboard uh, these pickle items won't be included okay so in uh, in case you accidentally pick other items and with this uh, pickle panel and use control c they just copy the uh, pickle panels so this simply case the logic regarding of the pasting uh, also the pickle button can be Duplicate it and for duplication, say I, I demonstrate here. Say uh, I want to duplicate it, uh, I just use the Control D hotkey to duplicate and it will press the new button below the original button. So, and if you want to duplicate and press it at the right side of the original button, you can use the Control Shift D. And alternatively, you can imagine that you can use the Control Alt D to press above the original button or the Control Shift Alt D to press the left side of the original button. This, this is the rules of the duplication and every type of picker button in MG Picker Studio support the duplication. There's an important attribute regarding of the select button. Uh, it's the post action. So if you say uh, set it to switch to the translate, current tool is rotate and you use the preview tool or in the animator mode if you click and release within this button it will switch to the translate tool for you um, it's pretty handy for animators so they are ready to go and manipulate these controls okay uh, so it's pretty important and during the creation of the select button it will test the attributes see if there's some locked attributes so uh, if the translation and scale are locked and only the rotation available it will automatically um, switch the post action to switch to uh, rotate tools uh, during the creation of the select button so this attribute is pretty much uh, being done automatically but if you need to uh, redo this track I mean the attribute checking Say the select button is actually be duplicated. Um, you can use this feature edit and auto set select button post actions. So this will batch editing the uh, post actions based on their uh, notes and attributes. So this is a pretty handy tools. Another thing I want to mention is the parent child relationship regarding of this pickup panel and its uh, child pickup buttons. So these child pickup buttons will be moved if the panel be moved, right? So if I want to reparent these um, pickup buttons to this pickup panel, how to do that? You can just grab these uh, pickup buttons and move them to the uh, to this pickup panel, but it won't allow you to do that because uh, it's avoiding avoiding you to uh, move this pickup button totally out of this uh, contain area uh, boundary. So you must uh, cancel out the parent child relationship first. So I just go to uh, the edit tool and right click on it, edit and uh, unparent from parent panel. So this way you can move and move it to this pickup panel but for now it's not be parented to this pickup panel if I move this panel this button won't move so I just grab this pickup buttons and right click on it and edit sorry uh, it, the menu is invisible for now uh, you can just edit um, parent to 
panel below so I can just reset the report and if I move this pick panel it will move this child pick buttons.